Ken Allison with IDI and today we are going to get into radon, radon testing and radon mitigation. I know you guys are out there in crawl spaces, basements, we're in houses where we're in the areas where radon is high. More than that, we're air sealing buildings that can contain radon gases or have soil gases coming up in them and to simply seal those up may not be the right thing to do when we're trapping that gas inside the building. Something to understand about radon, it is a soil gas, but pretty much most granite and a lot of different soils have uranium in them. That uranium, or a specific form of uranium, degrades from uranium to polonium to eventually a radon gas. That radon gas, when we breathe it in, gets into our lungs and at one point it turns into lead for a little while, a few seconds, then it turns back to polonium, then it turns to uh, lead again. So it's constantly doing damage. For those of you that don't realize what the numbers are, 21,000 people a year are dying from radon poisoning in their lungs or from cancer related radon. It is one of the top killers when it comes to cancer. So if we look at that, when we're doing this, we wanna make sure we're testing. First off, these tests are something that we have for you guys to give to your customer. This is one of the greatest leave behind cards you could possibly have because what's gonna happen if you leave this for them, they can simply place this in the lowest livable area in that structure leave it for about 48 hours and then send it off. Let me show you the inside of one of these because what I mean by send it off is this is already first class mail prepaid postage to AccuStar Labs. This is one of the largest laboratories in North America and certainly the number one radon testing lab. So I'm going to pop this open and what you're going to see inside here is a tube you take the top off of that and inside it's going to pick up all of that radon, store that, and then this goes off obviously to the testing facility. What's going to happen after that is your customer would get back a report. I would not simply have them just decipher the report themselves. I would ask if I could come back and go through that report with them. You're gonna stumble through the first one probably, but after that, you're gonna understand these reports, what you're looking at, you'll start familiarizing yourself with Pico leaders, things like that. But the kit itself, so to get into this business, we'll say, this business is more than just this kit, it's really testing and then mitigation. For you to do this and to be certified to do it is a five-day setup. The reason I say setup rather than class, the first two days is a class on testing. They're going to teach you more about how to test a house, how to use better testing equipment. After that, you're going to take a three-day class on radon mitigation. Mitigation is simply how you're able to go down to the basement, the crawl space, the lowest floor, how much dirt you'd take out, where you drill holes, what you do on a house in order to create that vacuum and mitigation system to get everything out of the house. One of the main pieces of that is this kit. These kits are very inexpensive, but what comes in them is what I wanna show you. You're gonna get another test kit, but in addition to that, you get the couples that are gonna to connect to the pipe that you would get at a common hardware store. It comes with the radon mitigation fan and the manometer and power cord, the manometer tells you whether or not it's using. It's a simple U-shaped tube. I wanna show you it real quick here, just so that you get an idea. What you're seeing here, this liquid is going to come around and start coming up to show you how much water column it, there is, which is created by the vacuum from this fan. So it's a very simple, process. It's not a hard business to get into, but the biggest thing is even if you don't want to get into radon mitigation, which really has good margins, and it's certainly something many of us could easily do and probably should be doing. The other side to that is we always should be testing. Each of us 
should be giving these to customers and making sure that their home is being tested. Some areas of the country, you're gonna be higher than one in five houses having radon or soil gases in their home. I'm Ken Allison with IDI. I hope that this has given you some good information and maybe help you grow your business. Certainly it'll make you a lot more able to help your customers live happier and healthier lives. Thanks so much for watching.